Hello everyone, you all guys are listening to me on an academy online platform. Today's topic is the base of the molecular biology and this topic is very very interesting for your examination. You know DNA barcoding is always in the news, somehow it is connecting with the marker protein also. Okay, how DNA barcoding is working in molecular genetics and how it is, how it is uh, important for the uh, various uh, research work that all the entire discussion I will do here guys. This topic is connecting with the science and I call in this my lesson number 78. You guys are listening Dr. Ravi Gari on the Academy online platform. My director of Purvanchal is last 18 years I spent my time with all of you in the UPSC teaching and my two books are published on the microhill Zaman is on science and tech and second is on environment. These are highly recommended book for all of you. My telegram channel you can see on the screen t.me oblique Ravi UPSC and Academy. Here you can find out my, all the entire video links and the PDFs. My academy profile is on academy.com obligatory data rapi pigri 2010 here you can find out my all the entire classes of an academy even the plus and special both my code is rabi upsc during joining any course if you use it you will get extra 10 percent discount india's best educator for upsc cscs are taking classes on an academy you people can connect here in the live sessions an academy subscription of plus and iconic is available with a 10 percent discount and use the code ITUBSC. Even combo subscription and optional subscription all available with the YTUBSE code. UPSC CSC notes are updated now. Whenever you are going to take the courses, you will get these notes. Prices are going to hike soon, guys. So kindly join it with a 10% discount with the, with the Ravi UPSC code. CSC Tour is one of the another option that an academy is giving you. If you guys are going to take a courses of two years or more subscriptions. So here an academy will give you extra year of subscription extension whenever you require and use the code and join these courses as soon as possible with the Ravi UPSC code. Science and technology based topic that is a DNA barcoding. You know DNA barcoding is what? The fun question I those I want to ask you what is the use of barcode in the various products if you are going to purchase from the market. So I hope you know very well barcode is just of the some short sequences those even used to identify the entire products so entire product is going to identify with the help of certain barcodes certain certain codings even help you to identify the particular products what is the manufacturing data of the products what is the expiry data of the products what are the number of the stock everything through the help of barcode a, a shopkeeper will identify about a product similarly dna barcode in this way also be beneficial in as a part of molecular biology and here a lot of studies through the help of DNA barcoding, lot of the ideas, lot of the knowledge even also become possible. As in the case of product, you people use the barcodes. Here the barcode is DNA barcode and DNA is a genetic material that is present in the living organisms. It's a you, it's a plants, it's a microorganism everywhere. So DNA barcode, I hope now you people have some ideas about the DNA barcodes, is a very specific identification of short DNA sequences short dna sequences i'm just like i can tell you you know the human being have a what about dna sequences through so three billion base pairs in the human genomes but in this three billion of base pair of human genome some specific genes are available those specific genes are the main identity of human beings so ultimately in the case of dna barcode is very specific genes are genes and the barcode can be stored and can be used in the future definitely guys how 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 we can use in the future i will tell you Actually, a kind of barcode dictionaries are available. A barcode libraries are available. Okay, now uh, and here, here, a lot of the barcodes are available, and there are the very specific DNA sequences. That is a very specific characters of a unique organisms. So a small sequence of the DNA that I'm telling you as a barcode will be enough to find out the knowledge about the particular organisms. It is used in the taxonomic information. Taxonomic means study of taxa, any rank of classification. Taxa is what it is, a, any rank of classification. Either you are going to do the study of organisms in the uh, division level, subdivision level, uh, family level, you know, genus level, species level, that is called as a taxa. Taxa is the any rank of classifications. And see here in that case, guys, DNA barcode will use to unidentified organisms. Any of the unidentified organisms, guys, that can be easily identified through the help of DNA barcodes. And some more information I'll tell you, you just wait guys. And the very important thing is guys, in, in, in place of whole genome sequences, I'm just telling you guys, human being have a 3 billion base pairs. Okay, but still human have a very specific DNA barcode sequences. 
a unique DNA sequences that you can use to find out the particular organisms, a part of the whole, whole study of the genomic sequences. So how much it is good? The 3 billion base pair sequences, you are not going to do a study. A very specific cytochrome C oxidase as a DNA barcode in the human being. If you, if you get it in anywhere in the genomic sequences, so you can easily identify this as a human beings. This DNA barcode you can use anywhere guys in the prokaryotes, in eukaryotes, every type of organisms you can do there. So prokaryotes, small size of organisms like bacteria, mycoplasmas, eukaryotes, planted animals. So everywhere DNA barcode can be useful. See, this DNA sequences, those short DNA sequences we are using to identify a particular organisms and all. That is called as a marker, kind of marker. Marker-based question long time back, also UPSC asked. Okay, green process protein. So green process protein, GFP, it was a question as a marker protein in UPSC, uh, I think many years back, 10 years back, that was a question. And that time, the uh, green process protein that was identified from the jellyfish as a marker, marker, Okay, for that purposes, some scientists got a Nobel Prize also. Here, you know that some of the barcodes we are trying to show you on the screen. Now, the question is, sir, give me some example of the markers. Some example of the markers are cytochrome C oxidase 1 for the animals. I told you guys. So, cytochrome C oxidase is the name of a marker. Marker genetic sequences, marker genes in the animal that is very specific. MATK and RBCL for the plants as a marker. Internal transcribe special ideas for the fungus as a marker. The markers used for DNA barcoding are called barcodes. So these DNA sequences, I can tell you, it is a marker. Now the question is, the process of DNA barcoding entails two basic steps. What about the basic steps of the DNA barcoding process? So one side, guys, we will make a DNA barcode library of known species. So those of the species your people know in the surroundings you just make a dna barcode libraries of species and now you will able to take a take a sample of barcode sequences and these sequences you go and match with the barcode libraries from those sequences of barcode library this dna sequences match so this is that organism actually you know in one side i'll tell you how dna barcode is beneficial suppose somewhere you have got some fossils somewhere you got some fossils this is one part, this is one organism, this is another organism. Three fossils you got it. But you know, whenever you people try to find out the organisms through the help of genomic sequences, you got everywhere have a cytochrome C oxidase, cytochrome C oxidase, cytochrome C oxidase. Yeah, you people are getting the one of the barcode sequences here, same barcode sequences here, same barcode sequences here. Then it will be identified. No, no, these are not three organisms. This is the this is the this is the leaf, this is the flower, this is the seed of the same plants. So ultimately, through the help of DNA barcodes, you will find out these all the plants or organisms are one, not the three different. And here, this DNA barcode will help you. How interesting it is, guys! You find out the different different parts, and it was looking like some of the different different organisms, they are different different plants, but same plant have different parts. Those you got somewhere, and this is the reason here DNA barcode will help you. Okay, so finally, how DNA barcode be adding the view? Make a firstly DNA barcode library. A known species a complete library you set up guys and then what about the barcode sequences you want to match unknown sample you can turn it with them and then you can do the identification so somewhere the knowledge and data already available another one you are going to find out to the help of this knowledge or data now the question is what will be the application applications are a lot in a lot even through the help of feces of organisms if any of the organisms have a feces they're in waste and in that DNA sequences, you can also find out the which organisms feces are there. Yeah, which organisms are here in that cases. In that because whenever the feces are coming, the cell and tissues are also coming. So inside also have a presence of DNA sequences. So what about the application? So definitely guys, identification of a species. A particular species you are going to identify through a short DNA sequences. Yeah, you can call it a marker. Okay, and in that way, you people, it will help us to identify a particular species. Detection of invasive species. Detection of invasive species. Okay, suppose any of the places have uh, some dangers here, yeah, some species are coming, those are going to destroy the particular area. Yeah, I can tell you the alien type of species from foreign area to your side. Okay, this alien type of species are coming. So through the help of, you know, uh, barcodes, and you can find out the knowledge of them. Okay, you people can find out the knowledge of that. Maybe possible guys like uh, accurate morphological identification is not possible. So on the basis of, uh, you know, structures, 
you cannot find out it is an alien species or not. Okay, it's not possible to identify them. So in that case, is the taxonomic expertise and even those are even not even identified the particular plant is an invasive yeah, alien species. Okay, those those are those can be destroy our plants, native plants. So to make this control, again the barcode will help them to identify them. Okay, because morphological the plants are looking like same with the normal type of the plants. But when you go to the DNA barcode studies, you will find out it is an invasive species and it is dangerous in this particular area. A lot of the other benefits are also there, guys, through the help of barcodes, demoting the cryptic species, diet analysis, okay, barcoding for the food safety you can use, biomonitoring you can do, ecological assessment in the particular area, in the agricultural purposes, barcode will help them, water quality assessment, you know, these all the other miscellaneous uses are also possible through the help of DNA barcodes. So ultimately, DNA barcodes in agriculture sector, in fossils, in the case of evolutions, to identify the alien species. In every dimension, DNA barcodes are, or even in the case of human beings, to find out any problems and understanding. DNA barcode is the shortest method. It is the shortest method. So finally, this was a very brief of the DNA barcodes. And I hope I simplify the concept to all of you and you people understood. So this is my telegram channel where I'll suggest to all of you kindly go and download this PDF. And uh, an academy profile is on academy.amoblika.com. My code is WPSC. During joining any course, if you use it, you will get extra 10% discount. But I'll suggest to all of you guys, this is the place where you can find out my plus classes. And a part of the plus guys, many, many of my special classes are also available. So special classes are free for all of you. Many of the courses I made to all of you. So kindly follow me here on an academy profile. It will be beneficial to everyone. An academy is giving you 0% EMI based loan facilities. If anybody have a financial crisis, so you can take the benefit of them. Subscribe now, add as possible because 20% of flat discount is available now. Why an academy is the best option? I hope you know, you can understand like why this choices of educators, many educators you can find out, an expert in their own field guys. Unlimited views of lectures, flexibility chart, and the live mentorships. 178 plus toppers in 2021 already, they qualified this with the help of an academy. UPSC CSC Super Combat is on 7th August 11 a.m. Don't forget to join it, guys. And use this uh, code Ravi UPSC and join this. It is free for all of you. And here you will get the scholarships. In this scholarship test, guys, uh, those we are going to organize at 11 a.m. on 6th August 11 a.m. Here, different, different ranks, you will get a different scholarship also. So kindly join it and enjoy that. My courses of science, ethic, environment, agriculture, all are running now on the academy. And the new page is going to start soon. So if you want to listen to my classes and all the kindly join me on the plus courses and during the joining kindly enroll Ravi UPSC code. So thank you everyone to listen to me and giving me attention. Kindly subscribe the channel, like and share this video. Don't forget to use the bell icon for the further future notifications. And for the PDF I have spoken, you always go and download from the telegram, save your time. So thank you everyone, meet you soon in the next time with some new other topic that will be relevant for the examination. Take care yourself, God bless you. Okay.